Christmas time, folks. We love that tree there. It is Christmas time. And right? guess what? what? I can call you Jingles. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Where is Empress, please? Hey, Where is Empress? Bells, jingle bells. Good morning, everyone. Will you stop? <laughs> Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. It is Wednesday, December 5, and we welcome our friends at OneSpotMedia.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Smile Jam TVG, and also on TelevisionJamaica.com. Great show, as always. Mm. And you see the, the tree, babe. It's beautiful. It is incredibly beautiful. In it's the greatest gorgeous. time of year. I mean, over there is gorgeous, too. And you know what? Sim and I, we kept saying that we're not seeing the lights. Well, they're up. They're, they're not up in tropical. Plaza, no. But they're up in the mall class, and they're up in. The village. I think Tropical trying to save electricity because they have they have like wrapped up ribbons yeah, around the things, but there are no lights. There are no lights just yeah. yet. But I suspect they're going to be doing it in just a little while. So whether you like it or not, and the morning's a little cooler. Chilly. Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, and we just need to hear more Christmas cars because it's the greatest kind of music. Yeah, I heard carols all morning yesterday. I did. I mm -hmm. was sleeping all morning. Today. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> you're good? I'm great. I'm fabulous. Just, Thank you very much. You're, you're kind of welcome. <clears throat> this is Santa. I'll bring you a Santa. You know what? I think I should give you Santa this morning. You want Santa? Okay. I'll take it off. So do you take it off? Is that, you have to know what to put it in there. So should we just put, put it there? Should we? Okay. Don't wait now. Nice. Okay. Oh, Santa Claus. Aww. Sandra, look like Sandra. That means you have to give presents. Because you have Santa. I don't want a pen. <sighs> <laughs> ah, it's the Santa Claus. Santa Claus is right there. There you go. Right there. <laughs> so, on today's show, we continue reading your wish list letters to see how we can help some folks out this season. And don't you miss the seasons of Lime Tree Lane. You remember that show? Well, the gang will be back in animated form. Imagine Boss Gossi and Liko Johnny as a cartoon. Well, they've managed to get back on air. You were part of Lime Tree Lane? <laughs> how old was I when Lime Tree Lane? I don't know. How old were you? I watched it. <laughs> how old were you? No, don't be that. <laughs> how old are you? Why should I tell you how old I am? Everybody know how old I am. Extel tell everybody I'm a granny. I am not the same age as Johnny, by the way, Mr. Producers. How old are you? I'm, I'm off the calendar in the 30s. <laughs> Let's oh, just put really? it. <laughs> Me put too. It I'm way. off the calendar too. So not we in have, the 30s, we have something though. in common. No, we don't. We don't. We are both off the calendar. I know what we have in common. That's what we have in common. My age can go into your age. Yeah, so can mine. Still on here, folks, <laughs> is the name of the read will be taken off the shelf when co-authors Yvette Rowe and Livingston White. So it, it, still on air. That's the name oh, of it. Oh, that's the name of the book? Yeah, oh, still on cool. air. Hmm. Yeah. And it's a white Christmas overseas. <laughs> Trust me, it's cold. And you'll see bits of it when we hop on a flight to get your greetings, greetings. You know, I didn't know what that song meant till I go foreign. White Christmas? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Oh. I didn't, and even when I was in foreign for a couple of years, and then one year a lady said, so it, does it look like we're going to get a white Christmas this year? And you say? Someone right now say, Put oh? two and two together? What do you mean? And then you said, there's no snow. And I said, oh, so that's Boop. what I mean dum, by dum, a white dum. Christmas. <laughs> How many years did it take you to get help find out. In policy oh. settings, two. Who are you talking to? Siri just jump up. Oh, <laughs> that just happened. So, I first be here Siri. Christmas. So, now I know what a white Christmas means. Mm, snow. Yeah, and it's the most beautiful time of year. It's lovely. And the snow, especially, it's like powder as they opposed to the little. Snow, right? No, no, no. It's not that I mean. But the, the snow, like some snow just drop on us. Yeah, but this one is powdery. Fine. And you know, they like, have a branch and it just come all the way up and you stay like yeah. that. It's, it's incredibly beautiful. It's lovely. Want some snow Christmas in Jamaica. You're and right. the world undoubtedly <laughs> loves reggae. The United Nations just dubbed the genre a global treasure. Well, we did always know that. And exactly. we'll hear more on that sweet status later on. And speaking of sweet, we're sweetening up your holiday with a pantry staple. Honey, we catch up with an apiculturist. That's a fancy name for beekeeper. 
And we'll find out what's buzzing for the holiday. Karine can go on like she week to see. Yeah, put in some bashment you know, where it's I, like. I, I love how she writes. We never know. And holidays are all about sprucing up, and the folks from Edge Chem will be here to add some color to your life in time for 2019. But before we get to 2019, what's happening in 2018? Well, it's time for the hot topics. I don't know if you went tell about the whole trade. You, you paint for Christmas? You're one of them people there who paint? Yeah, I have. I don't do it every single year. Oh. So why wash your tree, but I'm the man. No, I'm not do that. In a 113 page report tabled before Parliament uh, yesterday, the Auditor General, Mrs. Pamela, Pamela Monroe Ellis, it says released a dam damning report on the operations of the Petrodam Corporation. Well, it says, for example, we found instances where two individuals closely connected to employees of Petrodam were employed despite being rejected by the interviewing panel. Interestingly, though, um, it's on the front page of the Gleaner. Of the Gleaner, it says they had two parties that cost. Well, let me tell you about the parties. Two surprise parties. One for uh, Mr. Percival Badu Bahadu Singh, former chairman. Food and beverage, three thousand six hundred. Side fee. 1,000, decor, 1,200, lighting package, 1,200, music and entertainment, $600, dessert station, chocolate, strawberry, cheesecake, fruitcakes, $750, generator, 420. It came up to $10,507. In what? In what? U.S. It, yeah. It, <laughs> U.S. The Come second back. party was for Dr. Andrew Wheatley. He was a former energy minister. His party came up to 11,200 mm. US. A four-tiered topsy-turvy cake, chocolate cake, US $1,000. Well then. Uplights, US $520. Event set up and chef's fee, US $800. Whew. Sound good. By the way, is we pay free. <laughs> In case you never know, right? <laughs> In case you it's coming out your pocket. It's our tax payers. Yep. Our tax money paid for that. Mm -hmm. Woo! The next so one, incredible. You've, <laughs> you've heard of Brexit, of course. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about Jexit this morning. Which is Jamaica so, leaving. Right, Jamaica leaving the CARICOM. And now, a, addressing the second and final day of the two-day CARICOM summit on the single market and economy, CSME, our Prime Minister stated that it was imperative that a commission under the chairmanship of the former Prime Minister Bruce Golding was established to give the new administration empirical evidence of its relationship with CARICOM. However, the Prime Minister reiterated that the decision to establish this commission is not intended to create an avenue for us to leave the 15-member regional integrational movement. So, in other words, they're just digging up some information, trying to find out why we're there, our relations with CARICOM, but we're not leaving. Um, I really hope that is so, because you see what happens to the, with, with the Brexit mm -hmm. drama and mm -hmm. the negative implications it had for all those countries who left. Mm -hmm. Let's not become one of those folks, yep. shall As we? they say, more and none. This one is interesting. Um, so a man was threatened with deportation to Jamaica, but he's not a Jamaican. <laughs> and he was threatened to be deported from the United States, but he is a United States Stay citizen. He <laughs> <laughs> went to the man now. He came to Jamaica for one day <laughs> on a cruise. Um, he was born in Philadelphia. Raised in New Jersey. Raised in New Jersey and now lives in Florida for the past <laughs> 10 years. But was still threatened with deportation to Jamaica. Despite being a U.S. citizen. Mm. You, you, you know why? He tested positive for, for marijuana. marijuana. So, so automatically them, them just them okay, say, well, must you must be Jamaican. Test positive for marijuana, you must be Jamaican. <laughs> Jamaican. We're going to Send him back. <laughs> Hush, boss, it's not so bad. Ooh, Come. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Incredible. <laughs> you want some more? Well, there you go. Well, I've plenty of birth here. Please go. The Don't first do. one is Shanique Jarrett. They call her Shade. She's from Springfield in St. James. Happy birthday. Uh, Shanique, have a great day coming from Clarine. 
Hope you have uh, many, 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 many more. Wow. Yeah, a a plen minutes. plenty, many that. Hold on now. Happy birthday to Matthew McDonald from, he's an automotive technology teacher at Penwood High School from the Burke Peart and the Student Affairs Office. Have a great day. Happy birthday also to Georgiana Bramwell from the Manian event. And this one says, happy birthday to my star, mm. Damani Harris, from your number one cheerleader, friend and mother, Aww. Yvette Burke. She says, I love you endlessly. Also from Shaniki, the Roberts family, St. George's College um, family and friends from me. Them I know they're giving you a hard time, youth man, but I don't know. Hmm? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Um, there you go. Here's Damani. Uh, made the Digicel All-11 team. All right. The second leading goal scorer. But them giving him a hard time because he missed one that he, he shouldn't have. But that's <laughs> a summer bridge. Things love happen. You. No, man, I love so him like go. crazy. Happy birthday to Michael Ann Hamilton, or Michael Ann. I hope it, Michael, I think it's Michael Ann. I don't. I hope I'd get it right. Greetings coming from your mom, Kimberly, Auntie Dean, Uncle Billy, Moya, and Michaelia. Um, there she is. She's so beautiful. And she's my little friend. So happy birthday also she's from me, friend? too. Yeah, she's my friend. I love you like crazy. Oh, what a pretty princess. Happy birthday to Roddy Matheson, who works here with us. At, oh my gosh, uh, it's yes, Roddy's, Roddy's birthday. birthday. Yep. I didn't know. I yeah, Roddy is 114 years old. I believe you, you know. He is. Honest to God. Yeah, <laughs> Roddy is 114. Roddy has been here um, from 1963 when television started. Roddy's <laughs> I first person them hire at, at JBC was Roddy Madison. <laughs> but he's my good friend. Roddy, have a great day today. And this is um, Detective Constable Shane Allen. Mm. Happy birthday. This is a, a beautiful picture. And, uh, Detective Constable Officer Allen. I hope you have a great day today. It's a police. Officer, them look nice, it's though. It's a beautiful picture. She doesn't um, look like police, though. I don't want to do anything wrong, but I don't think I would have an issue with that officer. Thanks. No. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't want to do anything wrong because I'm a decent fella. But I'm not certain I'd be too upset if that officer locked me up. Um, so, officer, if you tell me we, where on the road you would be, maybe I just don't wear a seatbelt today or something. And you lock me up. But, Officer Allen, have a brilliant day today. I pray that you live to see many, many, many more. I'm a little ahead. Oh, oh. Yeah, Roddy oh. wants me to say hi to Miss Walker and Star from NIS. It's on New York Road. He says, Have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Roddy. I, I something know. in a something with so, that I don't know why. Maybe two is in birthday. I'm just trying to heal up everybody. <laughs> know Mine is a little early. Tomorrow is IT. Fancy cat. And this is birthday. And Truman are there tomorrow. I'm absent. What do you say? You say IT and Fancy cat. Yeah. May I put the relationship? You know, me and Fancy cat born on the same date. Um, November 10th. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, today, so tomorrow is birthday. Birthday. I wasn't here that day, so I hope you had a little bit. Mm. So, who are you telling happy birthday? IT. Tomorrow. IT. You know, I didn't coach him. Did boy. How old are you? I coach him. <laughs> I coach him and I tell him that I, I don't want him to come back to training because he was a clown. Mm -mm. Well, was I not prophetic? <laughs> Weren't you? <laughs> and look where he ended up. Happy birthday, everyone. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>